What's up guys, I'm Dr. Chris Park here and let's talk about addiction and why we use medications to treat addiction. I mean, if you have been, um, if you're a recovering addict, um, or maybe you're, you're not recovering, maybe you're still struggling right now and you're watching this video for help. Most people who have used some type of medication assistance have encountered uh, you know, negativity from either friends or family and they've heard this saying, aren't you just trading one drug for another? Well, and I know it's a tiresome saying, I'm sick of hearing it, but people who aren't in the addiction world, I mean, it's a valid point and we should explore it a little bit at least because you are taking a medication in order to blunt the withdrawal effects of the drug. So let's look at addiction. What is addiction? So addiction is this compulsive need to continue to um, either to take a substance or to um, continue an activity despite the fact that it is causing negative effects uh, for you, you know, typically mentally, physically, psychologically, with relationships, etc. like a combination of factors. Um, and typically when there's a removal of that uh, thing, whether it's, a, like I said, a, a drug or an activity, um, there is some type of negative effect on the person, like um, some type of symptoms. Maybe it's anxiety, maybe it's depression, maybe it's full-blown withdrawal, maybe it's a lack of joy, okay? Um, and now I don't, now there's, I probably should make another video some other time about the difference between like desire and drive, but we'll get into that another day. So, when you take a medication to assist you in your recovery, and that's all it is, assistance, to assist you, you are blunting that uh, withdrawal effect. You're helping to curve some of the desire to use, and that's why it's helpful. It is not itself the treatment, because all you're doing is treating like these biological substrates, these chemicals in your brain, that are inhibiting the real treatment, the real recovery, the kind of the psychoanalysis that you've got to do to figure out what led you down this road? Sometimes the answer is obvious, sometimes it's not. But I've never said that medication is all you need. You must do the deep work, which is what I've always called it, in figuring out yourself and, and what le led you down these patterns. Now sometimes it seems obvious, like like you were abused or you had, um, you know, whatever it is at, at an early age, some type of trauma that led you down this path. But that's not always the case. It's not always that obvious. Even if it is obvious, there's usually smaller patterns in your life that need to be addressed that you may be not, don't even realize uh, you're doing. So, all right, where was I? Because I kind of got sidetracked. Um, so, the medication is there to assist you so that you're not fighting that biological system so much. You know, you're, you've got the, the withdrawal... Um, contained. Now, yes, yeah, Suboxone. If you're on Suboxone and you stop it, you're going to have withdrawal. So does that mean you're addicted to it? Well, you're dependent on it. You know, the body has a physiological dependence to it. Um, and yeah, do some people abuse it? Sure. Some people uh, will try to get high with it or whatever. But just because some people do doesn't mean the majority do. Okay. So I had a patient one time and uh, she self-injected with insulin to make herself hypoglycemic so that she could go into the hospital, so that she could seem sick. You know, she had all this other psychological uh, issues that need to be addressed. But does that mean because she abused the insulin that she was addicted to it? No. It was a self-destructive uh, behavior and the root cause had to be addressed. Not taking away, you know, well, obviously we had to take the insulin away from her, but that doesn't mean we should ban insulin from all patients, right? Um, so I think you get my point that, and, and let's look at uh, people who use heroin. If 99%, let's say uh, you take, give 100 people, 100 people take heroin every day. There might be, and I doubt this, but there might be 1% of those people who aren't actually addicted to it. Like let's say they took it every day for a year or something. And then you got Suboxone and 100 people take it every day for a year. You've probably only got maybe 1% of people that are addicted to it. So you see the difference, right? And again, I just threw those numbers out. I have no scientific basis for those numbers. It's just my uh, assumption based on my experience, okay? Um, 
So what are your thoughts on that, guys? Uh, are you tired, as I am, of hearing people say you're just trading one drug for another? Um, and there are still people in you know, the addiction world who are like treating addiction that have these fixed mentalities, man. We've got to get over that fixed mentality. You gotta start having a growth mindset, understanding the potential for change, understanding the potential um, to turn your life around, understanding that this life is abundant and infinite and um, infinite in a finite way, I guess. Seems like a contradiction, but most of life is. So anyway, once you start to get into uh, these uh, paradigms, these worldviews that people have on treating addiction, you'll start to understand that um, people have set up their own little mini religions of how you treat addiction. Um, so I'm not here to start a fight. <laughs> I'm just here to say, open your mind a little bit, understand that there's more than one way to treat addiction. And if you are solely focused on only doing things your way, you're going to miss a lot of people that you could be helping. And again, I am not saying everybody needs medication assistance. That's the exact opposite of what I'm saying. I'm saying that we need to come at this with a more open mind to figure out what works for what people and in what ways. What, how can we minimize risk? How can we minimize uh, poor outcomes? How can we maximize benefit to the people we're actually trying to help? So anyway, I started this off as a general talk and now I'm kind of almost giving advice to people who treat addiction. So I, who knows, who knows who's gonna watch this? No one watches to the end anyway, peace.